Aber dann schauen wir mal rein in Every Feature Mojang Removed von uh, Minecraft and Why. Ich weiß tatsächlich nicht, welches gem was gemeint werden kann, weil ich bin tatsächlich noch Minecraft Neuling, wie alle wahrscheinlich wissen. Dann gucken wir mal, was rausgenommen worden ist. Oder habt ihr eine Idee, was eventuell rausgenommen worden ist? Max, hast du eine Idee, was hier entfernt wurde? This is the rarest structure ever added to Minecraft. Die rarest structure. Das sieht aus wie eine Bricks Pyramide. Oder also eine Backsteinpyramide. And this armor only existed in 2009. And these are 25 extinct Minecraft features. This ja, erzähl mal. This is the rarest structure in Minecraft. Ja, das ist auf jeden Fall, das sind auf jeden Fall Backsteine. Hier so, ist so ein Bricks Pyramide. And not just because it doesn't exist anymore. Stopp, warum? Ich habe gerade die Werbung, ich habe gerade die Werbung übersprungen. But even when they existed in the game, these giant brick pyramids were rarer than woodland mansions are today. So die sind rare, die sind seltener als woodland mansions. Sind Woodland Mansions wirklich so selten? Gut, ich habe bisher noch keine gefunden, aber ich bin auch, wie gesagt, ein Minecraft-Neuling. Deswegen keine Ahnung, wie selten Woodland Mansions sind. Oder hier diese Brick-Pyramiden. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Du hättest nur sie in der Phase der In-Dev-Phase Minecraft gefunden. Instead, okay. Which is tough enough to boot up that version. But lucky for us, they did have a specific location. Brick Pyramids would generate in pre predetermined locations throughout the world. These locations were always the same regardless of the world seed, surrounding terrain or a game version and seem to only generate in the southeast quadrant. Positive X, positive Z. Beginning from the spawn point, one can be found by walking forward south 500 blocks then turning left and, continu and continuing for another 500 blocks. This brick pyramid is centered at X502 Z553. Ja, die sind. Ja, die wurden rausgenommen, oder? Ja, die werden rausgenommen worden sein, weil hier. Ja, es heißt ja hier oben, jedes Feature, was ähm, Mojang entfernt hat. Und außerdem hier unten, das sieht mir auch gerade ein bisschen suspicious aus, dass die, dass der. Äh, neun, knapp 970 Glasblöcke hier rumliegen hat, weil normal gibt es ja nur einen Stack aus 64. Und es war glaube ich noch eine Version, wo es noch keinen Hungerbalken gab. Friends. In the past, if a creeper was about to explode, then any mobs within a certain range would turn and run away from the creeper, which seems like it makes. This this is cool. Das ist halt die Frage, warum das rausgenommen worden ist, weil das macht eigentlich Sinn. Wenn wenn halt Kreaturen sehen, dass ein, Kre ein Creeper explodieren würde, warum die da stehen bleiben wie so ein paar Idioten. Das würde auch so einen Sinn machen, wenn die, wenn die auch wegrennen würden. Wenn so ein Zombie was sieht, dass ein Creeper explodiert, dass er nicht in die Reichweite von einem Creeper reingeht. Sense, right? Self-preservation and all that. But the real reason this feature was eventually removed was because it causes an immense amount of lag. Sure, it's ah, so okay, 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 okay. Das macht ein paar Sachen natürlich Sinn. It's simple to have a mob run away when a creeper is about to explode, but to do that, Mojang had it where the mobs were constantly checking to see if there's an exploding creeper nearby. And when every mob that's loaded in the game is trying to do that all at once, every single tick, it's no surprise that you got a lot of lag. And as cool as this feature would have been, it's never seen the light of day since. Before the path block was ever added to Minecraft, our villages looked entirely different. And the reason was that these originally spawned with gravel roads instead. But ever since the grass... Oh, ja, das sieht schon hässlich aus. Das sieht auf jeden Fall deutlich cool aus hier mit dem, ähm, mit dem Boden. Ja, das sieht schon viel cooler aus. Hier, der Gravelboden. Äh. The reason was that these originally spawned with gravel roads instead. But ever since the grass path block was added in, you won't see any gravel show up in this way anymore. Ja, besser ist es, weil das ist auch äh, extrem hässlich. Which is weird when you see the grass path blocks out inside of the desert as well. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like gravel would have made more sense there. These Minecraft villagers do not exist anymore. Or at least they don't in this way. Because prior to das one cleric, point, oder? point 14, the villagers used to dress a lot differently. And instead of having to interact with them to find out what their job was, they actually traded differently based on the color of coat that they wore. Whether that was pink, green, or the iconic white coat villager that you'd see in something like old Dan TDM videos. But perhaps the biggest loss from this era was the fact that they didn't need restock stations. Which, when you're waiting for your librarian to finally restock on mending books, that'd be a welcome change. When dolphins are first added to Minecraft, they came along with a bug. Which is that through special methods, you were actually able to equip 
armor onto dolphins. Granted, you wouldn't be able to see it since it didn't render on top of the mob. But if you tried to hit one of them, especially one with thorns, you'd notice that they'd actually have the armor and its effects. And then if you killed the dolphin, it'd even drop the armor as well. But this <laughs> was eventually removed and it hasn't been in the game since. Which is maybe just to keep us from doing a cruel joke of giving a dolphin Frostwalker and uh, watching whatever kind of horror unloads. This is this that all funny? <laughs> the feature was added to Minecraft only to be removed shortly. Hey, can we not do it anymore? Because there are the old versions of it. There are the old versions of it and we can do it play it. Then we can do it with the one Verzauberung and then dann gucken, what happens. Because the old versions are still playable. I don't know if the old old versions are still playable, but on the whole, I think 1.9 1.9 can you play it, right? After. But for a brief period, during release 1.7, you could find a feature in your settings menu called Super Secret Settings. And while it's ominous, when you would click on it, it actually showed off different shader options for Minecraft. And the different settings were weird to say the oh. least. You could go from everything from pixelated to black and white and even upside down. And honestly, I'm surprised <laughs> it was possible for Minecraft to get more this pixelated is anyway. But what seemed like an early show off for adding in shader effects to vanilla Minecraft was quickly removed. And the worst part, we never got to find out the secret. Ever since Minecraft 1. Hey, by the way, Minecraft, ich habe eine Idee. Ich habe eine, ich habe eine kleine Idee. Ich guck mal, ob ich das schaffe bis zu, ja, bestimmt werden wir das schaffen bis zu dem Jubiläumsstream von mir. Aber ich habe eine Idee, was wir, in, was wir in der Gruppe mal machen können in Minecraft. Ich habe ich hab eine Idee für eine Challenge. Ich werde noch nichts verraten, aber die werden wir dann irgendwann mal machen. Zu viert oder zu fünft oder so. Ich habe eine Idee für eine Minecraft. Aber die Grund ist nicht so serious. Es ist einfach nur, dass die Rose mit dem Namen Poppy replaced with the name Poppy instead. Und while Texture Packs like Vanilla Tweaks let you change this back to the original name, I think it's still a bummer for our Iron Golems. I mean, they don't even give out villagers flowers anymore. You can't craft this <laughs> item anymore. But before Minecraft 1.9, there was a way to craft an enchanted golden apple. Though to do this, you would have to pay a hefty price, putting eight golden blocks inside of the crafting table around an apple. Which is a hefty fee, but considering that nowadays the only way to find these is through rare loot chests, I think I'd much rather set up a gold farm and do this the old-fashioned way. At least then it's a matter of skill, not luck. Since beta 1.8 of Minecraft, if you were to dig down into the void and stand on top of bedrock, you'd notice that down around those lower Y levels, there would be a void fog that would cloud up your vision. Until eventually, you reach to the bottom, and it was pitch black, which I've got to say made branch mining a whole lot scarier to do. And that's probably why this feature was removed in Snapshot 14W34C. But since then, Minecraft worlds have gotten twice as deep. And honestly, with the deep dark, I feel like having void fog in the game again would make some sense. I mean, it doesn't fit with the old Minecraft textures, but with deep slate, I think it does the job. While Minecraft's textures have famously changed a lot, the game doesn't just look different, but it sounds different too. And nowhere is that more noticeable than if you take damage. Whereas now we're familiar with this damage sound. Yeah, I got to do that. This is duh. This is sound effect. In the past, there was that classic sound effect where Steve would say, and it's Genau, genau, this, this, genau, this, this. Charming as that is, it's easy to understand why it was eventually removed. What was the first Yeah, that's actually a bit nasty. I have recently so an old, um, I think, Kronk Let's Play geguckt. Wo noch, das alte, wo noch der alte Sound war von Steve, wo er das gesagt hat. Das war halt schon ein bisschen nervig. <lacht> das erste Biom. Was, was könnte das erste Biom gewesen sein? Ich glaube, so Plains oder sowas war bestimmt schon relativ früh da. Vermutlich Wüste oder so? Craft. Well, it certainly seems like the game started off with the Plains biome. Apparently, the first ever official type of biome was called Winter Mode, and it was added into oh. Minecraft during the alpha phases. Though you only had a small chance in spawning one of these, considering that it was a 25% of a world generating like this. But once Minecraft hit alpha version 1.2, that Winter Mode was eventually removed in favor of the proper biomes that were eventually added. If you kill oh. a Minecraft zombie, what does it drop? Well, in the past, it used to be feathers. Since before rotten flesh even existed as an item, Notch didn't know what zombies were supposed to drop. So as a placeholder when zombies are killed, they drop around two feathers on death. <laughs> which is by far the weirdest way I can think of for making a farm for these. But it's True. True. Since chickens don't spawn in dungeons, I guess this was maybe easier to get. Although all that changed in beta 1.8 when zombies would finally get the rotten flesh or the carotten or so that they were supposed to have rotten flesh. Are Minecraft bundles extinct? We honestly don't know. I mean Ich habe mal gehört, diese, diese Beutel, also diese, diese kleinen Ender Chests, die ist, äh, nicht die kleinen Ender Chests, sondern die kleinen, die ist, diese kleinen Schalterboxen, die sollen wiederkommen. 
Ich habe gehört, dass ähm, das ist wieder kommen. Sure, they were added into the game in 1.17, but they still don't have a proper implementation. I mean, you can't even craft them. And now that we've gone two Minecraft updates since the future, that's still the case. And while this item does still seem useful, with the ability to let you stack up 64 items regardless of the item type, it was ultimately removed from the Caves and Cliffs Part 2. So is it extinct? Who knows? But is it forgotten? Well, not by the community, but maybe by Mojang. Ever since Minecraft's Wild Update, this popular feature no longer exists. But before 1.19, it was It was possible to upgrade your brightness from bright to super bright, considering that you could go into the game's files and just manually change the gamma settings. But I guess it does make sense that the same update that they added in, the deep dark, they would also remove this insane brightness option. It kind of removes the fun. And nowadays, the only way they're going to pull this off is I don't be dark on <laughs> by using one of the many mods out there that exist for a third party alternative. Back during the development phases of Minecraft, Notch originally added these giant zombies to the game. And the idea is that these would function as some kind of boss when you saw them in the game. But that whole idea fell through. Though they weren't properly removed either. And according to Notch, they were just too cool to remove. And on Honestly, I disagree, considering that the only time I've ever seen these in the game, they've never had AI, so they're basically just a big statue. Not to mention the fact that they only have 100 hearts of health, which did seem big at the time, but that's the exact same amount of health as the Iron Golem. Which okay, also gar nicht mal so viel. Wobei, es wäre mal interessant zu sehen, wie viel Schaden die halt machen. Ob die stronger sind als hier so ein... Iron Golem. When you do a size comparison, it's not nearly as impressive. This is okay, the okay, this sieht schon funny aus. Okay, von dem habe ich gehört, das ist dieses Killer Kaninchen. Das, ich glaube, ich, ich weiß nicht, ob das jemals in äh, Minecraft drin war, aber es gab dann die Chance, einem, bei so weißen Kaninchen, dass eins so ein Killer Kaninchen ist und was sich dann also angreift, was glaube ich auch viel mehr Schaden macht oder relativ viel Schaden macht und so. Ja, das, das von dem habe ich gehört. Ist Rabbit in Minecraft? Or at least it was the deadliest Rabbit in Minecraft. Whatever. Ja, war das sogar drin? Since 1.8, the Killer Bunny variant no longer has a chance of spawning. Es war drin. Ah, gut zu wissen. Ich habe nicht gewusst, dass es drin war, aber ich habe von dem gehört auf jeden Fall. And the reason for this, according to Jeb, is that the joke's already been made to death, so it was then removed. Or should I say the spawning was then removed, because if you use the summon command, it is still possible to get. I just wouldn't recommend that you stand too close when you do. If you were to fly 12,550,810 blocks away from spawn, then you'd be greeted to this site, the Farlands. And while this bug no longer exists in Minecraft, it is true that back in beta versions of the game, there existed this special terrain that would generate when the world started to overload. And is it weird? Sure. But it's also a piece of Minecraft history, so it's hard not to look at it and not get impressed. Man, make no mistake, even though this doesn't exist in Minecraft anymore, it's still plenty relevant. And that's why moments like Killo Crazy Man walking all the way to the Far Lands in survival is such a big deal. It takes months to do in these old versions, since when you don't have an elytra or a horse, it's tough to get there naturally. And I just have to accept that most of us are gonna only visit this using commands. From version 1.8 to 1.13 of Minecraft, there existed a special option in the world building settings. Or should I say option? because when you clicked on this custom world builder menu, it allowed you to customize a whole bunch about your Minecraft world. Like the ability to change the sea level, the dungeon count. Ui, sea level. <lacht> Einfach sea level auf 200 machen, dann einfach kann man nichts mehr. Da gibt es nur noch ein paar Berge oben so, wo man Whether drauf gehen kann. Or not, and a whole bunch more. It makes a lot of sense for a sandbox game. Honestly, I'm surprised that it's been cut out entirely. But seeing the kind of horrors that you can generate with this world type, maybe that's for the best. Das sieht das aber schon cool aus. Play Minecraft on PC? You're probably not familiar with this, but for those of you who played Minecraft on console, this is instantly recognizable as the Minecraft tutorial world. And it's probably a bit nostalgic, because this hasn't been in the game since. But in this iconic world, you'd find the classic Minecraft logo built across the sky, with a whole bunch of tutorials underneath to teach you the details of Minecraft. But as charming ich, as this was... Also, ich, ich kannte das nicht. Also, ich habe ja auf der Switch damals gespielt, aber ich, mir sagt this tatsächlich gerade gar nichts, aber nun gut removed from the game eventually, and now the only way to get it is by downloading a map. And uh, I guess if anyone should be happy this got removed, it would be me, but a little sad to see this piece of Minecraft <laughs> go to the wayside. Minecraft enchanting used to be a lot more expensive, because before Minecraft 1.8, if you wanted to enchant three different tools with a max level enchantment, you would need 90 levels to do it, because each one of those tools that you enchanted cost 30 levels apiece. And nowadays it's a lot more gracious, this time only needing you to be above level 30 to unlock the enchantment, and then costing three Stimmt, levels for the enchantment, yeah, so yeah. I'd take the extra cost of lapis to make that work. Back in the day- Aber auf Level 30 müssen wir auch erstmal kommen. <laughs> 
Minecraft mobs used to jump, which doesn't sound that weird, but what's weird is how often they would do it. See, back in the beta versions of Minecraft, the AI for mobs wasn't the greatest. So whenever you would encounter any mob, they would just jump up and down repeatedly, which is cute that they were excited, but you can definitely see why Mojang would patch this out before the game's full version. And nowadays, they're only going to jump when they need to, like to get up a block or something. This is Minecraft Steve. Nothing new, right? And... This is a hundred Minecraft Steves. Maybe that's a little weirder. But back in the first version of Minecraft, Minecraft Classic, it was possible that if you press the G key on your keyboard, you could create an infinite number of Steves running around your world. And running around your world is a bit of an understatement for what they're doing. They just flail around, <laughs> oddly moving their limbs place to place. And nowadays, the G key has no functionality, and you can't summon Steves at all. So this is definitely an extinct feature. Here's the fastest way to build a nether portal in Minecraft. See, if you were to play an alpha version 1.2.2a, it was possible for a player to spawn the nether portal by simply pressing the F4 key, which I don't care how good of a speedrunner you are, it's hard to beat that kind of speed. But unfortunately, True. that feature was short-lived, and it got removed in literally the next update. But that doesn't just mean that the F4 key is good for nothing, since nowadays if you press Alt F4... What was F... Yeah, all the F4 to close, but what was F4? Or it'll actually take you to an entirely different dimension. Your Windows home screen. Sorry. This was the first <laughs> okay, armor ever added to Minecraft. They are not bad. When was testing out adding armor to the game, the first one that they added in was actually called plate armor. And while it looks pretty similar to iron armor, you would want to get them mixed up. Since the plate armor unfortunately gave no protection when you wore it. Man, I've got to say, if you're testing out, the only thing you have <laughs> the armor actually protect you be one of the things that you'd want to try first. But maybe that's just me. By building a structure made out of gold blocks, cobblestone, and a nether reef, reactor core, you could build yourself the so-called nether reactor, which was a feature that only exists in old versions of Bedrock Minecraft. And once you went through all those steps of building it, then what would happen is that you'd get this message telling it was active, for it generated this massive structure of netherrack around it called the nether spire. And in a version of the game where you couldn't go into the nether dimension actually, this was a solid substitute. But as soon as there was an actual way to go into the nether dimension, there wasn't really a point for this, and it's been lost to time. And with that folks, YouTube thinks that you might like this video. Oh, so see if they're right, and have a good one. Alright. War auf jeden Fall interessant zu sehen, was das, was alles so aus ähm, Minecraft rausgenommen ist von den alten Sachen. Auf jeden Fall spannend zu wissen, weil ich bin tatsächlich ja Minecraft Neuling immer noch. Wobei inzwischen habe ich auch schon 40 Stunden drauf. Ich glaube so ab 50 kann man sich bestimmt auch ähm, Minecraft ähm, Anfänger nennen. <lacht> ah ja. Gutes Video, like ist da.